This hypersonic missile will destroy China in few seconds. Hypersonic missiles are the most cutting-edge weapons in the ever-sophisticated arsenal of superpowers. Recently, the U.S. Air Force has been able to come up with a hypersonic maneuvering missile, which has the ability to change trajectories mid-flight. Since this missile does not have a fixed flight path, it is nearly impossible to intercept it because of its unpredictable flight trajectory as well as its incredibly high speed. Perhaps for this reason, the American engineers spent a tremendous amount of resources developing this weapon. In this video, we will talk about just what they were able to create, so stay tuned. But before we continue further, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you! So, what exactly is this new missile and what is it capable of? For starters, this is the first missile to change shape mid-flight through technology which has been codenamed Mutant. Mutant is the name given to an articulated joint which allows the missile to bend by an incredible 45 degrees. The result of this shape morphing missile is that it is able to change the direction of the flight. This gives Mutant the ability to destroy high-speed targets whether they are stationary or highly mobile, ranging from fifth-generation air fighters to incredibly fast ballistic missiles. In the older generation of hypersonic missiles, this was possible only through reducing speed or using rotary thrusters. Now, however, the warhead is quite capable of performing unique maneuvers. Additionally, withstand temperatures of up to 900 degrees Celsius. Now, this new missile can be officially categorized as a hypersonic missile, but this is something we will address later on in the video. The real question is, what kind of weapons platform would stand to benefit the most from a mutant missile? Can a land-based missile platform deploy mutant warheads with the most lethality, or can a multi-role jet and air dominance fighter put it to good use? The answer becomes quite clear when you look at the latest generation of fighters to have been produced. The latest addition to the USAF is the F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 was designed by the revolutionary Lockheed Martin Company, which has been producing jets which were ahead of its time, such as the SR-71, also called Blackbird, which was used for a high-altitude reconnaissance mission during the height of the Cold War. The F-35s were no exception either, and they are the latest US offering in the fifth-generation aircraft category. The F-35 was first flown by the Air Force in 2006, and its B variant came into service later in 2015. One of the most outstanding features of the F-35 was its versatility, which is why the United States Marine Corps, the U.S. Navy, and the USAF all have different variants of the same aircraft. The armament capacity of the F-35 is truly astonishing. It can have two long-range air-to-air missiles, or AMRAMs, or GBU-31s, around 910 kilograms, and two 25mm cannons, which can come handy during dogfights. From the loadout itself, it is clear that the F-35 is no A-10 Warthog, since it does not have a huge ordnance loadout. Now we need to understand that the F-35 Lightning II is not an air dominance fighter like the F-22 Raptor, which is why its normal loadout is designed to neutralize air as well as ground targets. Now, the real distinguishing factor is how effectively F-35s can dispatch their targets. But, despite its awesome capabilities, the F-35s were considered highly expensive. The previous U.S. President, Donald Trump, complained about the high per unit cost of these F-35s, which could be as much as $100 million. It's safe to say that the F-35s were met with mixed reactions, both inside the military circles and in civilian sectors. However, the program which led to the development of the F-35 is supposed to last until 2070, which means that the aircraft has been deployed to meet technological challenges till that time. It makes the new F-35 future-proof as extensive upgrades have been planned to make the aircraft unparalleled. One of the improvements introduced in the F-35 was a redesign of its layout due to which it has become much more maneuverable. Maneuverability is a key trait of any fighter and can decide the fate of the battle. With the design overhaul, the F-35 can now truly stand on its own. This has been accomplished through a new onboard control system which works hand-in-hand -hand with self-learning AI. One of the standout features of this advanced AI is that it takes care of the piloting, integrity of different flight systems, maintaining radio locks on targets, and even launching missiles when the lock is solid. 
This means that the F-35 has no need for a pilot because the plane can essentially fly itself, but there is still a seat for a pilot. Another key attribute of this aircraft is stealth. Yes, most stealthy aircrafts in the world, perhaps second only to the great Raptor F-22. The F-35s are equipped with state-of-the-art radar detection systems and stealth plating, which can block 90% of radars. This means that the F-35 has a very high chance of landing the critical blow before it is even detected by the enemy's radar. But what will make the F-35 truly a force to be reckoned with are the new mutant maneuvering missiles, which can replace the established AMRAMs or the AIM-120s. These air-to-air -air cruise missiles are launched at speeds reaching 3,900 kilometers per hour. The GBU-31 laser-guided bomb can penetrate through the most well-protected targets, the worst of conditions. The most important thing for an aircraft to survive in a modern air battle is tracking and taking down the enemy's radar. The F-35s have been equipped with the unique AMG-88 Harm missile, which have the capacity to lock at the radiation signature coming from the enemy's radar and destroy it with surgical precision. This is a relatively new type of missile, but it's nothing compared to the awesome potential of the new hypersonic missiles. Hypersonic missiles are the next cutting-edge version of supersonic cruise missiles. Supersonic cruise missiles have a speed between 2,000 and 4,000 kilometers per hour, but hypersonic missiles reach speeds in excess of 6,000 kilometers per hour. The experts at Lockheed Martin have been able to create a new breed of hypersonic missiles under the name Hawk, or hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept. This is a revolutionary kind of weapon, since the weapon itself does not have a payload and is considered a kinetic energy weapon. Essentially, ramjet-powered weapon, which has attained speeds as high as 6,100 km per hour during its testing. Theoretically, it has been estimated that this weapon can achieve speeds equal to 12,000 km per hour. Hawk has the capacity to take down any kind of target because it is the fastest missile system in the world. One of the reasons behind Hawk's production was to effectively kill the enemy's fifth-generation aircrafts. The most unique aspect of Hawk is that it can also maneuver during the initial part of its trajectory. Hawk was fired from B-52 during its testing, which shows it can be used from older aircrafts as well. But Hawk's true potential lies in using it with the NGAD program, or the Next Generation Aircraft program, also referred to as the Sixth Generation Aircrafts. Weapon systems like Hawk clearly show that the U.S. needs to overhaul its aircraft and replace its outdated and obsolete equipment. One area where such innovations is very essential is an airspace control, which can control the fate of the battle. In line with the new strategic vista, the U.S. military has been working on the NGAD program, which promises to give us a truly unique aircraft since it will combine the capabilities of an interceptor and a bomber, and its shape is something we have normally seen only in a sci-fi movie. The NGAD is truly a marvel. It is stealthy, super fast, use a variety of sensors including radars and thermal technology to detect targets despite poor weather conditions, and condense intelligence in an augmented reality helmet system so that the pilot can take effective designs mid-mission and adopt strategies accordingly. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Please give this video a big thumbs up and see you in the next one.